Hello everyone, this is Teacher Suzy and welcome to my class. So in this video, I am going to discuss the items na ipinakita sa module ng mga grade 9 students in Valenzuela which is about solving quadratic equations using extracting the square root. So, um, ipapakita ko ang solution sa video na ito para mas maging malinaw sa mga students and to other students as well studying grade 9 uh, mathematics. So, let's solve the following. Number 1, we have x squared plus 49 equals 0. So, here, um, we are asked to solve for the value of x. Ang ating given ay quadratic equation na may two terms or binomial. At kung napapansin, wala po yung term natin containing x. So, it means b is equal to 0. Okay? So, if this is the case, pag ang b ay equal to 0 or yung term na may x ay nawawala, ang gagamitin natin uh, method is extract the square root. So, ang kailangan lang po dito na skill is yung skill natin in getting the square root of the numbers. Okay? So, let's have this. So, to solve for x, since we have 49 in this side, lipat natin sa kabilang side ng equal sign, this will become x squared equals negative 49. So, we apply the addition property of or subtraction because this is negative subtraction property of equality and then to solve for x my squared pa siya, we have to get its square root so kung ano yung ginawa natin on the side of the equal sign ganun din sa kabilang side ng equal sign yung square root din natin yung 49 and then we will cancel the radical sign at ang exponent so matitira na lang ay x bakit? because x or the square root of x is equal to yung term na nasa loob which is x at ang dinedenote ng square root ibig sabihin ng square root may exponent yung nasa loob na term na 1 half so if we have the square root of x squared it means na yung nasa loob na term na x squared ay may exponent na 1 half so just multiply the exponent so that's equal to x raised to so, 2 times 1 half. So, this is equal to 2 over 2 or just simply 1. X raised to 1 or just simply X. Kung kayo sa, sa solution natin dito, we just cancelled out the radical sign and the exponent 2. Dahil yun po ang paliwanag dito. Okay? Equals the square root of negative 49. If, it is, if this is positive, the answers will be just positive and negative 7. But we have a negative sign inside the a uh, radical sign. So, the square root of negative 49, ang root nito ay not real. Okay? So, ang root nito ay tinatawag na imaginary. Hindi natin makikita sa number line. So, therefore, in number 1, there is, yun ang reason why is the answer here is no real solution. Wala siyang real number na solution dahil ito ay imaginary. Okay? It does not exist. Ang square root ng negative 49 does not exist. Not real. Or sabi nga kanina, imaginary. Okay? So, yun po ang paliwanag. Let's have number 2. Another example. We have here 4 m squared plus 3 equals 12 and yung variable natin is m so nasanay po tayo sa x but still we are asked for the value or the roots of the variable which is m so we have to solve for this let us first combine like terms meron kasi tayong like terms dito 3 and 12 so ilipat na natin si 3 on the other side of the equal sign because ililipat din naman natin siya later on so, what will be left is 4m squared. And then, we have equals, copy 12. And then, yung nilipat na 3, dahil tumawid siya ng equal sign, magiging minus 3. Or, we just applied subtraction property of equality. And then, solve. We're gonna have here 4m squared equals 12 minus 3, which is equal to 9. 
And then, may coefficient ng m square na 4. Kailangan matanggal yan. So, we have to divide it by 4. And gayon din sa kabilang side ng equal sign. Because this is equality, kung ano yung ginawa natin sa kabilang side ng equal sign, the same then dito sa kabilang side. So, we will just cancel 4. So, what's left is m squared equals 9 fourths. Since m has exponent 2, kailangan natin tanggalin yan. So, get its square root, ganon din si 9 fourths. So, we will now cancel the radical sign and the exponent 2. So, we have now m equals the square root of 9 fourths. So, that is positive and negative square root ng 9 which is 3 and the square root of 4 which is 2. So, therefore, the solutions or the roots are dalawa, positive 3 halves and negative 3 halves. And of course, lagi po natin ginagawa ang checking for us to be able to know kung tama ang sagot natin. So, we will check if 3 halves and negative 3 halves are really the solutions of the given equation. So, kopyahin natin yung ating equation. We have 4m squared plus 3 equals 12. Substitute 3 halves to m. We're going to have 4 times. Instead of writing m, isusulat natin ang 3 halves. Of course, raised to 2 kasi nas nakasquared ang m. Plus 3 equals 12 ba yan? Let's solve. So, unahin natin ito. Following PEMDAS rule, get the square of 3 halves. So, this will become 4 times. 3 squared is 9 over, kayun din ang denominator, is square natin. 2 squared is 4. Then, copy plus 3 equal ba siya sa 12. Then, multiply natin tong dalawa na to, 4 times 9 fourths. We can actually cancel out 4. They will become 1 na. So, 1 times 9 over 1 is just simply 9. Plus 3 equal ba siya sa 12? Fo 9 plus 3 is 12, which is equal to 12. Therefore, 3 halves is correct. Let's have negative 3 halves. So, again, the equation is 4m squared plus 3 equals 12. Substitute sa m ang negative 3 halves. We're going to have 4 times negative 3 halves squared plus 3. Is it equal to 12? Now, let's get the square of negative 3 halves. We're going to have 4. Copy muna si 4. Square ng negative 3 or negative 3 times negative 3 which is 9. 2 squared is 4 plus 3. Is it equal to 12? So, pareho na po tayo dito sa kabilang uh, solution natin. Okay? Naging magkapareho na po sila. So, ibig sabihin, we will come up with this answer. So, just cancel 4. We have now 9 plus 3. Is it equal to 12? Yes. Therefore, negative 3 halves is also a solution of our equation. Let's have number 3. So, madali pa po ito. Ito po ang pinaka madaling paraan in solving 4 quadratic equations. And this is just only applicable nga kapag ang b natin ay equal sa 0. Let's have this one. x times x minus 8 equals negative 6. Okay? So, ano po ang pwede nating gawin dito? So, pwede po nating ilipat ang 6. Ah, uh, this is 16. Negative 16, rather. So, pwede nating ilipat ang negative 16 on the other side of the equal sign. And then, ang x i i-distribute natin dito. So, we're gonna have x times x x squared, x times negative 8, that is negative 8x, tapos sinabi ko kanina, ililipat natin si 16 sa kabilang side ng equal sign, magiging plus 16 equals 0. Ngayon kung napapansin, meron na tayong b, which is negative 8. So, ang gagawin natin, so hindi natin pwedeng kunin yung um, square root. So, kung mapapansin, this is a perfect square trinomial. So, kunin natin yung roots nito, kunin natin yung factors, which is a square of a binomial. Okay? So, just get the square root of x squared, square root nyan ay x, copy the sign of the middle term, kopyahin natin ng minus, and then square root ng 16, ang square root ng 16 ay 4, equals 0. Again, naka-squared po yan. 
Kasi, pag sinolve natin ito, in-expand natin, we multiply x minus 4 by itself twice, babalik po tayo rito. Again, this is just applicable kung ang trinomial natin ay perfect square trinomial. Perfect square ang first term, perfect square ang third term, and the middle term is 2 times square root ng first term times the square root of the second term. Okay? Now, this is the case. Ang gagawin natin, since naka-squared ito, katulad ng ginawa natin sa numbers 1 and 2, we have to get the square root. Okay? So, ganun din. Sige, kunin natin ang square root ng 0, but still nothing will change. It's still equal to 0. Cancel the radical sign. Cancel the exponent 2. So, what will be left is x minus 4 equals 0. Ayan na. Let's solve for x. Lipat ang 4 sa kabilang side ng equal sign. This will become x equals 4. Okay? So, therefore, the solution for example number 3 is 4. And to check, let's have the checking. Let us check if x equals 4 is a solution to x times x minus 8 equals negative 16, the original equation, palita ng x ng 4. This will become 4 times 4 minus 8. Is it equal to negative 16? So, unahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis kasi PEMDAS nga po ito. So, we're gonna have 4 times 4 minus 8 which is negative 4. Is it equal to negative 16? 4 times negative 4 is negative 16 which is equal to negative 16. Correct. Equal. So, ibig sabihin, our answer is correct. Okay po? So, this is what we're going to do if the whole equation is a perfect square trinomial. So, we will discuss the next examples on the next video. So, this will be all for today. See you on my next video. Goodbye!